Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to change the rendering method in 3D Studio Max. Remember, render is the process to generate images from the information of the scene. Information like the objects, the textures, the lights, etc. Before we start, you should have a previous knowledge about the generalities of 3D and about Direct 3D and OpenGL. For this you can check my other tutorials in the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. Now. As you can see, here we have four viewports. And the same scene looks different in each viewport. But, in this three viewports the scene doesn't have textures, just shows the lines that forms the geometry of the objects. This is called wireframe and is a render method. And in the viewport of perspective, appears the objects full of color, with transparencies, and textures. Looks more like solid objects, and this use another render method. So, the render method, determines how looks the scene. Let me show you the different methods and how to change them. In the scene appears a few objects, the most are simple objects and have solid color, other like the cylinder have transparency and allow see through this, and the tire, have textures and looks more real. Well, to change the render method, exist many ways to do it. One is making right click in the name of the viewport. This shows this menu, at the top you find views, what as I show you before in others tutorials, works to change the view in a viewport, and below it you find this options for the rendering method. Smooth and highlights, wireframe, other, edged faces, and transparency. Note that smooth and highlights, have a sign at the left. This, indicates that the program is already using this render method. That's why, this scene allows us to see the textures, transparency and light reflections. See. But, let us see another method. Just make right click the name of the viewport. And make click here in wireframe. Now, the scene doesn't show textures or light reflections, this shows us the edges or the lines that form the geometry of the objects. This is very useful when you are modeling objects. Note that the color of some objects are different now, the cylinder was orange and now is blue, and the tar was black with silver and now it is orange and green. This is because in the wireframe mode appears the color assigned to the geometry and not the color of the texture. Exist another way to change between these two methods, and works using the keyboard shortcut, pressing F3 inches the keyboard. Like this. Now the scene returns to smooth and highlights. And pressing F3 again, the scene is on wireframe. Exist too, a way to see something like a combination of these methods, just make right click in the name of the viewport and select smooth and highlights. Now the scene looks like at the beginning, and again, right click at the name of the viewport. And click here, in edge faces. Now the scene looks like a combination of the two methods. To see the method without the edges, I mean, without the lines that form the geometry, just make right click in the name of the viewport and click in edge faces. Now the scene doesn't look like the wireframe method. To change the transparency, make right click in the name of the viewport and move the mouse over transparency. This shows three options none, simple and best. Selecting none, the cylinder lose the transparency and now have a solid color. And in the same way, right click here, and moving over here and selecting simple. The cylinder looks transparent again, and selecting best, in the same way, now is also transparent. Well, but here are more methods. Just make right click in the name of the viewport and move the mouse over other, and appear this option smooth, facets and highlights, facets, flat, hidden lines, lit wireframes and bounding box. Let's see the each one. But first note that the actual method is smooth and highlights. And some objects like the sphere show some light reflections. Like this. And when you click and smooth. This light reflections are not longer in a sphere and in the objects that have no textures. But the texturized objects like the tire, still have light reflections. Now, in the same way. Make right click here. And move the mouse over other. And select facets and highlights. Note that now some objects looks more squared, more polygonated, and shows some light reflections. This is more obvious in the sphere and the donut, because have rounded shapes, but others objects like the cylinder or the tire still looks the same. Note this. The way how looks the scene in the viewports is not the same way how looks the final result when the scene is rendered. If you click the button at render production, you can see the difference. Now, another render method. Making right click in the name of the viewport. And another. Make click in facets. Looks pretty similar to previous. 
But, how many objects doesn't show the light reflections, except for the cylinder and the tire? The next render method is... Flat. Now all the objects lose the deep effect that comes with the shadows, light reflections and variations in light on the surface of the objects. And looks more like a drawing in 2D. Again, to select another render method. Click here and move the mouse over other. And click in hidden lines. This is a render method pretty similar to the wireframe method. But, in this doesn't appear all the edges of each object, I mean, the lines that form the geometry. Here only appears the edges that you can see, and the objects are not transparent. But in the cylinder, that is a transparent object, you can see the edges at the other side. And the objects with textures like the tire, appears with the textures and also appears the lines that can form the edges. As always, just click here. And here. And select the lit wireframes method. Is like the wireframe method, but the objects looks more flat. And the last render method. Is. Bounding box. A bounding box is a box that represents the space occupied by an object. As you can see, all the objects turn into boxes of the size and color of each the object. This render method is very useful when you are working with very complex scenes, because it's more easy for your computer to handle the graphics for the scene, because the boxes are very simple objects. Well, as you can see, 3D Studio Max offers a lot of render methods for many purposes. This methods are very accessible, but exist another way to change of methods. Just make right click in the button Maximize Viewport Toggle. And select the tab of rendering method, and here, at the left side of this tab appears all the methods, just select the method which you want and also you can enable the edged faces, change the type of transparency, decide if this configuration will be applied only to the active viewport, to all the viewports or to all the viewports but not to the active viewport. And making click in the OK button this configuration is applied. Going back to the tab of rendering methods in the configuration window, there is more possibilities to configure the rendering methods. And at the right side of this tab, appears more options like Disable the view Remember that when you make any change in the scene, the change appears immediately in all other viewports, but when the view was disabled and is not the active viewport, the changes doesn't appear in the disabled view. Disable the texture For doesn't show the textures of the objects in the view. Texture correction Redraws the view using a perspective correction. Z button wireframe Z buffer is the order of the objects in the scene from back to front, and this is to draw the objects in that order when you're using the wireframe method. Force two sided. This shows both sides of each face for the objects. Default lighting. Here you can select if the default illumination for the scene will use one or two lights. Shade selected faces. With this, the selected face not only appears with the edges in red, but also all the face looks red. Use selection brackets. Show something like the corners of the bounding box around the selected objects. Display selected with edged faces. This activates the edged faces only in the selected objects. Viewport clipping. Clipping is a technique that regulates the minimum and the maximum distance to draw the scene. This shows two arrows and moving those up and down, you can change the distances. Fast view and faces. This is used to get more performance in the program when you're working with complex scenes. And finally. Here you can set the field of view, as I told you in previous tutorials. The field of view, is the term to express how much of the scene you can see, is like adjust the lens of a camera, is not like zoom in or out. If you reduces the field of view, this means, that the image looks smaller. If you increases the field of view, the image looks bigger. And finally to apply this configuration, just make click at the OK button. And is ready.